I'm watching Madoka Magica episode 10. Okay, so we're we're meeting Homura in a very different incarnation. I feel like um, this is that alternate timeline we keep hearing about. Madoka comes along and she's like, come on, you have to go take medicine for your heart condition. I'm the health officer. So both um, Homura and Madoka seem very, very different. Like, Madoka's much more um, exuberant and happy, and Homura's very shy and nervous. You know, she's bad at sports, and she's bad at school, and she has no confidence. And then suddenly she's in this witch's maze, suggesting, the witch is suggesting that she die. Thankfully, she's rescued by a couple of magical girls. Oh, Madoka and Mommy! So they take Homura back to um, Madoka and Mommy's place, and they hang out and chat. Oh gosh, and they're fighting the um, the Walpurgis Knight, I guess, and uh, Mommy's dead. And Madoka's like, oh man, now I, I have to do it alone, and Homura's like, you can't do it alone! Where is Sayaka in this alternate timeline? <laughs> so of course Madoka ends up dying fighting against the Walpurgis Knight. And then Kyubei comes to her, comes to Homura, and says, um, well, how about, how about you make a wish? And her wish is that she wants to relive her first meeting with Madoka. And um, this time, instead of Madoka protecting her, she wants to protect Madoka. Kyubei's like, cool, no problem, done. So she awakens in the hospital bed, and it's, it's a couple of weeks earlier, I believe. She hasn't gone back to school yet. And she's like, oh. <laughs> and she goes to school. And this still isn't the timeline that we actually know, though. <laughs> she immediately runs up to Madoka, and she's like, let's become magical girls together, yay! Like, right in front of the entire classroom, and everyone's like, what? So, she does start practicing with Mommy and Madoka, and, and Mommy's like, oh, your ability's very impressive, but, like, Homura's still pretty bad at everything. Now they're fighting a witch together, and they seem to be, be doing a pretty good job, but, um, Homura's still just not capable enough. In the end, Madoka ends up, instead of dying, becoming a witch, I guess. Homura gets sent back in time again. And this time she tries to warn them by telling them that um, Kyubei is turning them into witches. And they're like, that's crazy. Why would Kyubei do that? And so this time they're fighting against Sayaka, who has just turned into a witch. And Kyoko is there too. So they're, every timeline is very different depending on what Homura does. What? And, and Mommy figures out figures out that um, the soul gems turn them into witches, so she kills Kyoka, Kyoko, just suddenly, and then she's looking at Homura and she's ready to kill her too. But then Madoka kills Mommy. <laughs> oh gosh. And Homura's like, oh, it's okay, Madoka, let's work together to, to defeat the Walpurgis Knight. And this time around, they're both dying. <laughs> Homura's like, what if we just become witches and destroy everything in the entire world? That'll be fun, won't it? <laughs> but then Madoka uses a grief seed to purify Homura's soul gem. And so that will leave Madoka to turn into a witch alone. And Madoka asks Homura, can you stop me from from making a contract with Kyubei? And Madoka also asks her to destroy her soul gem so she won't become a witch. And then she goes back in time again and has to try again. <laughs> so now she's going back and there's no reason to keep explaining to people that this is going to happen. I just have to do whatever I can in order to protect, protect Madoka from becoming a magical girl. And so she starts trying all these tactics, like just like appearing in the bedroom window and being like, don't do it. And Madoka's like, what? Who are you? What's going on? So the entire series that we've watched so far is just another attempt on Homura's part to keep Madoka from becoming a magical girl. So in this particular time, she's prevented everyone. Or she's prevented Madoka from becoming a magical girl, and she's fighting against the Walpurgis Knight by herself. And Madoka is watching Homura fight, and she's like, "Oh no, this is terrible!" And Kyubei's like, "You could always make a wish." But eventually, Madoka does become a magical girl, and then after the fact, Kyubei's like, "Wow, she was amazing, wasn't she, Homura?" So after Madoka formed the contract, she killed the Walpurgis Knight in one hit. But now she's like the most powerful witch ever, and there's like ten days until the entire world is gonna crumble. But Kyubei doesn't care. He's like, oh, this is just enough energy. Perfect. Wonderful. So, of course, Homura goes back in time again. Which brings us to the current timeline. Oh, <laughs> and then the episode ends. So that was a cool episode, um, explaining everything about Homura um, so that I can we finally understand the alternate timeline things. That was, that was an enjoyable 
episode to watch. And I'm starting to see why Madoka is going to become the most powerful magical girl and the worst witch because of because of this timeline repetition thing. However strong your soul gem is is all about however strong your despair is. And Madoka has gone through this timeline so many times. You know, she doesn't remember it, but it has happened. So it's there in her soul. And so that's why she's she can become so powerful because in the first timeline she wasn't the most powerful magical girl ever but gradually like several timelines later she's becoming more and more powerful so that's very interesting next episode i'm going to watch is episode 11 and i'll see you for that bye